Um, welcome everybody to the Qbert community meeting. It is the 29th of November, 2023. Uh, I hope you're all having a wonderful uh, morning, afternoon or evening, depending on where you are. Um, as I said, if you could please add your name to the uh, attendees slot of the agenda. And if you don't have the agenda, let me post it into chat. All righty. Um, so we'll start the way we always start, which is by um, uh, living a moment of silence for anyone that is new that wishes to introduce themselves. Uh, now is your moment to just say, say your name, say good day, and um, maybe tell us two sentences about why you're here. All righty. In that case, um, if we do have anyone new that does want to pipe up later, then by all means, uh, as we close, you're welcome to jump in. Um, similarly, if you've got anything you'd like to add to our agenda, open floor, our pull requests, or our bug scrub, if you've got a bug or a pull request that you know needs attention, by all means, put it here, and we will get to it as we progress. Um, uh, first thing that we're going to do is have a look at the 1.2 release schedule, which has been um, was posted, I think, earlier this week. Key dates um, are the 5th of December. Uh, where are we? Yes, the 5th of December, Kubernetes 1.29 is released. So that's what, next week? Gosh. Um, and we have a feature freeze on the 30th of January for a GA on the 20th of February. Um, yep. Hopefully uh, that all is, is good for you. Uh, the next thing that we'll do, and this is a couple of things I wanted to put on the agenda, just so people can see the notes when they get emailed later. Um, a couple of uh, interesting developments um, with regards to the KubeCon co-located events. Um, let me just change over here. So I only realized yesterday, um, that the for the first time kubecon co-located events uh this is for um, um march 19th to the 22nd kubecon next year in paris um speaking at a co-located event um also gets you a kubecon ticket in the past that wasn't the case there were two entirely separate things but now they've kind of combined them together um which potentially makes um speaking at one of the co-located events a lot more interesting so there's uh, this is a short list of the um, the ones that I thought were more in line with with uh, Qvert, platform engineering, AgoCon, multi tenancy con, observability day, and app developer con. A couple of those might be a little bit of a stretch, but perhaps with your imagination, you could put together a submission that makes it work. Um, there are some other ones. Uh, if you find the uh, KubeCon link down here. It'll take you in, um, to the KubeCon splash page and you can see with the other ones. The only downside is that December 3rd is when the presentation, uh, the submissions are to you. Um, and this says March 19th because that's where all the co-located events will be. The other one I want to draw your attention to is FOSDEM. Um, I've been banging on about this for a little while. Uh, its CFP closes on December 8th. Um, there will be a vert and cloud infra dev room um, uh, yeah, what more is to say about that, except if you have an idea, um, that, that relates that by all means, please submit. Um, I've never been to Foster, but I've heard really amazing things about it. And it, it seems particularly special, um, and unique in the grand scheme of conferences in our world. Um, and yes, and that's going to be February three to four in Brussels next year. All righty. Um, Another note from me was that uh, you might have noticed a recent jump in spam in the last week. Um, so I'm going to just start moderating posts from new members. Um, hopefully this helps. And apologies for any delays that this um, might create for anyone who is new and wishes to post and it doesn't go through um, straight away. To the open floor, uh, there is a new design proposal that I thought might be fun to look at. Um, Ed, did I see that you're here? Uh, 
Now's the time that I learned that I've been on mute the whole time. Can, can people hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Can I hear me? Hello? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, excellent. What's <laughs> that? Uh, wonder what was going on with my sound. Excellent. Uh, yeah, Ed, um, if you're here, um, are you able to speak to this just quickly? Yes, this is uh, an attempt to start. Like the... Okay, so there is something wrong with my, my sound. Um, in which case, Ed, are you able to... Oh, you are. Sorry, I'm going to mute. Okay. <laughs> um, can every, anyone? Can you hear me? Anyone else can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. So this is a uh, an attempt to to start a discussion and uh, something that started in several other occasions talking about features and how they are introduced into Kubert and how they are eventually either graduated or mm -hmm. uh, dropped. Uh, so this tries to take uh, some policies from Kubernetes, try to learn from Kubernetes, try to to check what, what were other ideas that were raised uh, between colleagues in different uh, occasions. Um, and it, but the, maybe the most important thing there is that uh, it focuses mainly on uh, on changes and features that are changing the the existing existing uh, CDR version that we have, like uh, version one. It doesn't talk about uh, anything uh, beyond that or types, although it could, but. It focuses on, on what we know we have challenges today. So that's that's the focus there. And that's it. And if you if you guys can review it, uh, it would be great to get feedback from it. Oh, righty. Uh, this this will be interesting. All right, thanks, Ed. Um, I'm gonna share my screen again. I, unfortunately, I can't. Um, which one is it? Design proposal to share. I can't leave without ending the session. Um, so I'm just going to carry on, and we'll have to um, <laughs> use chat. Uh, I apologize for this. All right. Um, I, yes, help wanted. Um, we are looking for reviewers for the website repo. This is the, um, this is going to help, um, qbert.github.io uh, repo that handles all of our um, website. There's only three reviewers, and I have it on a, a very sad and highly likely um, a report that Jobler and Seawalkers will probably not be reviewing too much. And I think um, John is not reviewing at the moment. So 
we have some approvers, but we don't have many reviewers. Um, so if you're interested in helping out um, becoming a reviewer, there's, it, it's not a very busy repo, um, but we do need more than probably just one person uh, reviewing, uh, especially uh, someone that um, has a good understanding of the um, uh, the structure of the, you know, what happens with the, the website. Um, yeah, all right, so I'll, I'll push on. We have a pull request that needs attention. Export test. All right. Thanks, Jed. All right. This is a very small pull request. Um, all righty. So uh, since I can't hear anyone, um, I'm just going to scroll to the bottom here and say that um, if you are able to uh, have a look at this, if this makes sense, um, if you could please add yourself to this and review. Well, being able to hear it really makes this difficult. Um, there was a mailing list. Um, Daniel Heller sent this out. I didn't see anyone had responded. Um, adding Copilot business. Uh, I don't really know how this would work. Um, I don't know much about uh, GitHub Copilot apart from you know one of my red news. Um, I don't know if this is something that we want. If we want, I can, uh, all the people are interested, we can uh, run up to CNCF and see what, what they say and whether or not we can get any funding for it. Um, but yeah maybe add your thoughts to the status but it's anything now because I can't hear you. Um, uh, maybe add to the mailing list uh, your thoughts if you feel one way strongly or the other. I just wanted to highlight that. All right, we have a couple of bugs. Um, a huge log here. Um, the problem is that the VMI crashes, uh, they have provided all of their info, which is helpful. Um, and then error counting sending command, RPC error. Um, similar to the PR, um, I'm just going to ask if anyone is familiar with uh, what the problem here could be or has a request for information, if you could please um, uh, comment on this uh, on this bug and help this person. Similarly, I feel like we've had other questions in the past about um, this high memory, and uh, maybe it's in the VM YAML. Oh, Vladex already. Okay, excellent. Thank you, buddy. Alrighty, um, that does bring us to the end. Let me just see if anyone else has added anything. They have not. Um, if anyone has anything I'd like to add, by all means, uh, let me know in chat so I can shut up. Otherwise, I can't hear anything. Uh, so I'll just wait a few seconds. Alrighty, I can't see anything. Um, in which case, we will wrap up. Um, this is probably going to be a pretty uncomfortable video for me to review. Talking over the top of everyone, not being able to hear anything. Uh, thanks, everyone, for bearing with me. Hopefully, this resolves itself uh, magically before next week. Thank you very much for, for joining us here and for everyone who's um, pitched in helping out. And uh, I will just say, if you do have ideas for, for STEM or the co-located events, and I'm entirely sure by all means ping me. Um, it's 
you know, one of the things that I'm here for. Um, yeah. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely weekend. And hopefully we'll see you all next week. Thank you. Yeah.